Hey guys, this is Daniel Kreuter and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a low poly landscape uh, with Blender. Before starting with the tutorial, I just want you to keep in mind that this is the first this is my first English tutorial since a long time and my I think my English is not very well. But let's start now with the tutorial. Uh to create our landscape uh, we're going to use the ocean simulation. You can download a build with this ocean simulation included on this page, savetheoceansim.com, and download it here. I'm going to post the link to this site in the description of this video. Uh, but now, just open the, your Blender version with the ocean simulation included. In the default scene, select the cube and go to the modifier settings. Add a new modifier called Ocean, and automatically this cube will turn into a plane, which looks already a bit like an ocean. The first thing we have to do is to uh, scale this plane down with by setting this value here to 15. This size value. And now uh, turn the resolution up to um, something about, uh, let's say, 30. At first we're going to create a very high poly version of our landscape. And then we're going to calculate normal maps out of this. And after that, we're going to create a, a low poly landscape, and then we're going to apply some textures. Uh, so now this is the model for our uh, for high poly landscape. It's already finished. It was very easy. And the next thing we have to do is to create normal maps out of this. To do this, uh, just split this window up to two parts. You can do this by dragging this corner in the middle and change the type of this window to um, gra uh, to UV image editor and add a new image with a resolution, let's say 5000 by 5000. Click here on OK and then select the plane here and go into the edit mode by uh, pressing the tab key or here uh, just hit edit mode um, I forgot something so um, go back to object mode select this plane go to modify settings and click here on apply after we did that, we can see in the in the edit mode, we got a model out of hundreds and thousands of polygons. Uh, now we have to uh, select here our new image called Untitled. At f oh, I forgot. At first, we have to select all these vertices here. So just hit one times the A key, and everything selected. Now, click here on this uh, icon and choose uh, Untitled out of the drop-down list. And you can see that this plane is is already unwrapped and the next step is to to calculate a normal map out of this plane to do that go to the render settings here and bake a normal map in this tab you can choose here bake mode normals and choose here normal space world to get the correct result of our normal map, which we can bake by clicking here on this bake button, and 
there you go this is our normal map and now we are going to create a low poly version of this landscape at first it is very important to save uh, the blend file and of course this image because it would get lost if you uh, don't save this uh, file and this image. Now, hide this plane by hitting the H key and then add a new object. Let's add a plane. Then add again the ocean modifier to, to turn this again to plane and scale it down again to 15. Now we can um, change here the time value uh, until it fits our our first uh, high resolution model. Just hit Alt H to um, unhide the the uh, high poly object and. I think we can uh, increase this um, scale value and I think this is already a good result. So now delete the high poly version of our landscape then select the low poly version and go into the uh, material settings add a new material and um, set the specular intensity to zero and in the in the um, in the in the texture panel add a new texture on the first texture we're going to add uh, a normal layer with this normal maps to add detail to our low poly uh, landscape but at first um, set the the display type of shading to GLSL you can do this uh, by pressing with the mouse in this 3D window the, the, N, the N key and here go down to the display tab and then change shading to GLSL now change the type of the viewpoint shading to textured and now change the, the type of the texture here to image or movie of course we have to choose the untitled image and we have to change the mapping type to UV because you can see that here there is something going wrong I change the mapping type to UV and now deselect color over here and activate normal. We can already see that there are some changes but um, there's still something we have to do. I have to uh, check on normal map in the image sampling tab and of course we have to uh, decrease the normal value okay I set the value I set the value to to 0 0.2 and when we zoom in into this model let's say it's just 0 0.3 maybe you can see that it looks like uh, there would be a lot of detail but there but uh, you can see over here that in this thing we have only 2500 vertices so that's very low poly now we have to uh, color this this uh, landscape uh, we can do this by adding here a new texture and changing the type again to image or movie and we have to we can create a new texture here uh, with 
um, the resolution 1000 by 1000 and then choose here our new image just click here on this icon and choose uh, untitled point zero zero one and here go to the edit mode um, of course we have to apply again this modifier over here and the uh, modifier panel apply this one and go into the edit mode select all these vertices by hitting the A key and then choose here again the untitled point one one uh, zero zero one okay now we can start uh, this was just the setup for uh, the texture painting now let's go to texture paint mode and before starting painting on this we have to um, choose here this image okay now you can see that this image is now on this plane so when I start drawing on this image you can see that everything from here is also over here or when I start drawing on this image I can do this by clicking on this icon here I can see that that uh, over here everything changed in real time okay now hit the T key uh, to open this menu you can do this also by clicking on this plus icon set the radius to thousand uh, two hundred I'm, I'm just going to start by filling this area with white and now we're going to uh, color this um, some parts with the texture of grass uh, you can do this by going to the texture tab and clicking here on brush then open then add a new texture again uh, image or movie and open uh, image of something like grass I'm going to use this texture here I got it from from um, cgtextures.com and then you can you can just start drawing right now so but at first go here to um, okay yeah now start painting uh, those parts where grass should be and and you can also decrease the strength value to create soft um, blendings between those parts with grass and those parts with a stone texture and I think this looks already very good and oh okay oh and there is something going wrong and I forgot to um, click here on stencil that um, is very important to check this on okay but now it looks already very good just fill those parts where grass should be and then we're going to add the stone texture to all the other parts okay I think that's good now change the image here to your stone texture I'm using this one and then start again painting those parts 
which are very high okay and you can go to the object mode select the this um, lamp here and change the type here to hemi now you can see uh, much better what you're doing you can also use sun type to see shaders but for painting I'm going to use the hemi lamp select again the plane and go to texture paint and just keep on painting this takes a while but the result is going to look very good I think I use a bit too much the stone texture I have to open again the uh, texture of grass and okay let's open here the the texture with grass on it and just start again painting some areas here okay there you go okay now you can go back to object mode um, to create a good lightning select this um, this lamp go to this uh, lamp settings change the type to sun let's rotate it a bit then add another lamp just hit shift A and add a Hemi set the energy value to something about 0 0.1 and there you go you can see now that when you start the game engine by pressing the P button okay now you can see that the mapping type is wrong I just forgot to set when this plane is selected go to texture settings and deselect brush and then down he here in this mapping tab you have to change the type to UV and yeah there you go you can see you can start the game engine very fast it looks in the game engine very well um, and yeah I think that's it for this tutorial uh, I hope you liked it um, I know my English wasn't very good I couldn't explain everything because uh, y you notice <laughs> my English is not very good and yeah thank you for watching